Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to sketch the graph and find the domain. So given the situation is an absolute value and i is the question which is modulus of x plus 2. So step number one I'm going to define the situation. So based on the definition for the absolute value of x and it can be defined as x which is x greater or equals to 0 and for the situation negative x the domain will be x less than 0 so by using the definition now I'm going to define the situation for absolute value x plus 2 so based on the definition here will be x plus 2 and the domain will be x plus 2 greater or equals to 0 next negative x plus 2 our domain will be x plus 2 less than 0 so now I'm going to simplify the situation so absolute value for x plus 2 can be defined as x plus 2 and the domain will be x greater or equals to negative 2 next we will have negative x negative 2 and the domain will be x less than negative 2 so that is our definition. Divide it into two parts. This one will be A and this one will be B. Later on it will be easy for me to define or to call up during the process of graph sketching. So now we have to refer to the part A and B. So as we all know, part A x plus 2 is a linear graph and it is a line which is towards the right because the coefficient for x is a positive next situation b we have negative x negative 2 so we can see that the graph is towards the left because the coefficient for x is a negative so now for part A, in order to draw or to sketch the graph for the straight line, we need two points. Okay, so do remember to follow the domain. So for example, x is equals to negative 2. The value of y will be equals to. So do remember to substitute into the situation x plus 2 so if x is equals to negative 2 my value of y will be equals to 0 so we will have a coordinate negative 2 and 0 we need another point so if the x is equals to 0 and the value of y will be equals to 2 so here will be our second point this one is for part a. So for part B, again I'm going to repeat the situation but do remember to refer to the domain. So if, okay, if x is equal to negative 2 and negative 2 is not included for part B but we still can use the negative 2. If we substitute the negative 2 into the equation in part B, our value will be y equals to 0. So the point will be negative 2 and 0, where this point is not included. Okay, so another point. So if the x is equals to negative 4, so my value of y will be equals to 2. So we have another point which is negative 4 and 2. So now I'm going to sketch the graph. So now I'm going to focus on the part A which is green in color. So I'm going to plot the point. So first we have negative 2, 0. So where is the negative 2? So negative 2, negative 1, 
negative 2, 0. Okay? So, for the next, next point, the location will be 0, 2. So, now, let's say this is a 0, this is a 1, this is a 2. So, the situation will be 0, 2. Now, let's focus on the part B. I'm going to plot the point. So, which is negative 2, 0, but not included. So, I'm going to draw with an empty circle. Okay, empty circle. Next, we have negative 4, 2. So, let's say this one is a negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4, 2. So, we'll be around here. So, now I'm going to draw a line. So now do remember to label the graph. So we have y equals to x plus 2 for the green color. And for the blue color part, it will be y equals to negative 2, negative x. So now we already sketched the graph. So now we are going to state the domain. So for the part A, the domain is x greater or equals to negative 2, which is a right hand side, green in color. And for the part B, the domain will be x less than negative 2, which is blue in color. So regarding the range, okay, so again we need to refer to the diagram. So for the range, We have to refer to the value of y. So the range would be 0 until positive infinity. Why? Because the lowest value for y is 0 and the maximum is a positive infinity. So here we are and thanks for watching.